Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in a building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with us. So please become a part of notification squad. Peep squad, hit that notification bell, baby. Know each and every time I drop a video and tell me what's on your mind. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the situation with Tammy Roman. She recently did an interview and baby, she almost gave all the tea. If only the interviewer knew how to take the tea because Tammy Roman was spilling the tea and she wanted to give the tea baby she wanted to tell us each and everything that was going on but she caught herself and the interviewer let her catch herself because she kept saying I said too much so let's get into it let's talk about Tammy Roman baby she said that she is a very mild temper person but if you push her you can get the mess and she said every time you turn around I was being pushed and she said it was Evelyn the relationship with Evelyn oh my goodness I don't know why she wouldn't leave me alone it's going it was like 10 years and this lady still got a problem with me this lady is still coming after me this lady is still trying to do something to hurt me or trying to to make my life miserable while I'm filming on the show. And and if you read into that, that is the same thing Evelyn Lozada and Shawnee O'Neal was trying to do to OG. But OG ended up winning and turning the tables on them and getting back at them because she showed their true colors of Evelyn Lozada and Shawnee O'Neal being colorist and trying to defame her and her career basically because OG wanted to be a coach. Now they're trying to say that she was violent, she needed to be isolated and all this other stuff and Evelyn kept picking and Shawnee kept picking. Oh, I don't want to talk to her. Oh, she's so aggressive. She's this and that. But they was pushing her buttons. And this is exactly what Tammy said in her interview that they will push your buttons to try to make you act up and get that caught on film. And then boom, they put it out there in the editing. And that is the same exact thing that OG said about the editing where they tried to make it seem like she tried to hit Shawnee, that she pushed Shawnee because she was trying to get to Febreze and everything else like that. And then also... OG also talked about how they edit out when Febreze called her, you know, I'm the new young light skinned girl on the crew. They edit that out. And so basically Tammy is confirming everything that OG said and, and OG has confirmed everything Tammy said about the situation with basketball wife, with dealing with Evelyn Lozada and Shawnee O'Neal, how they edit and they try to push your buttons and Tammy Roman said that she was just really tired. She said she lost her mother in 2013, rest in peace. And she said that, you know, just leave me alone, lady. And she was basically talking about Evelyn Lozada, just leave me alone. Just move forward, do something with yourself. Like, why, like, you know, B word, stop, please go away. And she said that's one of the reasons why she walked away and she left the show because she could not deal with Evelyn Lozada anymore. She could not deal with her harassment, her lying, and all the other things she did behind scenes like basically lying on Tammy saying Tammy was out of control saying Tammy you know was lying about her health issues she was lying about her miscarriages um and also Evelyn Lozada was telling the executives over there at VH1 all types of nasty things about Tammy Roman sending emails and just basically trying to get Tammy Roman fired basically trying to expose things that are not even true about Tammy Roman it was like Evelyn was obsessed with Tammy and Tammy just wanted to back back she was like just leave me alone so that's why she said she needed her peace of mind and that's why she left the show so Evelyn Lozada is part mostly part of the reason that Tammy Roman left basketball wives and also Tammy Roman mentioned that you know she's never going to get back on you know reality TV unless she has create creative control like she's a part of editing and she's a, one of the producers or the EPs on the show. Because if not, she's not going to do it ever again. Because the editing, they try to make you look like you're crazy. You're upset. They don't show anything good or happy about you. They just show that you're miserable. You're upset. And you want to fight. And she said that's the way that they try to make her look on the show. She had happy moments. She had good moments. And everything else like that. But they will always pick something negative 
to show of her. And she said, she just said it wasn't right. And you could see how they tried to make OG look negative. How they tried to show her being angry, upset when they were basically coming after her. And so Tammy basically is saying that, yes, Shawnee O'Neal has creative control over the show. I don't know if she still does, but she did. And she made sure that Tammy Roman looked in a bad light. And she made sure she kept Evelyn looking in a good light. And that's the same thing that OG said. And Tammy was also asked, "Is do you think there's favoritism over there? And she said, yes, there is favoritism. And I wish the interview could have prod out the information. Just prod it out. Pull it out. Because Tammy was ready to tell. She said, yes, there is favoritism. And we know that because that is what OG has been telling us, that there's favoritism over there in the editing situation. And basically, Tammy Roman is just calling it out. That the editing, they tried to make her look bad. And also, Tammy said, the editing that they did and all the scenes that they shot Tammy Roman in was was just you know awful and she said she felt like they tried to make her look bad because other people on the set wasn't really added out she didn't say that but i'm adding that in you know like evelyn lozada or shawnee o'neill whoever they're in a click with whatever they did you know was edited out and it was looked at in a good light and Tammy said the the way that she was edited over the years of being on Basketball Wife, some of the things, yes, yeah, she did some things. You know, she got pissed off. She was upset. Some things went down. But she said overall, you know, it really affected her because, you know, she's an actress. And she's been acting before she even got on Basketball Wives. And people don't know that. But I do. Because I like me some Tammy Roman, baby. So Tammy... Is basically saying when she got when she was doing other shows or trying to get other gigs as an actress because that's what she really wants to do. You know, she was just wondering if people gonna think I'm this way, people gonna think that I'm that way. Do they think I'm gonna hit somebody? Do they think I'm gonna do this? You know, so basically, you know, they have to double check to make sure that she's okay because they made her seem like she's outrageous, she's a drinker, she's crazy, she will pop off in a second, she will go off, she will get mad, she's uncontrollable, and that is exactly the same thing they have done to OG or tried to do to OG but OG exposed them all baby she exposed them open and wide baby and also you know Tammy was like I'm a Christian I'm a mother you know I'm a good friend I have a lot of good things going on in my life and that's not ever shown on the show it's just all the negative stuff if at if at least some of the good stuff was shown, it would have been nice. And I was like, see, when she said she's a Christian, that would have been a good time for the interviewer to say, what do you think about Evelyn Lozada saying that she is saved now? She's a port of God now. She's saved. She's a Christian. And what else, What do you think about OG working with Chad Ochocinco? That would have been a good moment too as well. And it also would have been a good moment. Plenty of times when, you know, Tammy Roman was describing her treatment there could have been more question asked like um what do you think about Evelyn Lozada and the Afro Latina and you know do you think she's really pandering to you know the audience of basketball wives basically so they won't see her um as a racist because you know she called Cece Ling Ling girl and also she called OG a gorilla so, what do you think about that, Tammy? That would have been a great question to ask Tammy to see what was going to be her response with that situation. Because I know she would have said a whole mouthful. And then on top of that, mentioned that OG said that Tammy, that OG said that Evelyn Lozada uses the N-word all the time. Have you been around Evelyn Lozada when she uses the N-word around the cast? That would have been a great it would have been so many questions that could have been asked but wasn't. So, you know, um, Tammy was like, you know, listen, it is what it is. I'm gone. And she also talked about Shawnee O'Neal. And she basically said that, you know, she really thought that Shawnee O'Neal was her friend. And she really thought that she was her friend. She thought for 
she said she thought that she was her friend until the last three seasons. And then she realized that Shoni O'Neill wasn't her friend. She said, you know, she thought she had a sisterhood. You know, she thought that they were friends. They were close. They had respect for each other. But three after three seasons, when she returned back to Basketball Wives LA, she was like, oh, no, something's wrong with this friendship. Something's going on. And she realized that Shawnee O'Neill was never her friend. And it kind of hurt her because she wanted to be friends with Shawnee O'Neill. They knew each other. And, you know, they ran in the same circles at one point in time. When you talk about Hollywood, we talk about, you know, the business, you know, the NBA and everything else like that. And she really thought that they had a bond. They had a sisterhood. But Shorty O'Neill Bond was with only Evelyn Lozada and that's it. And you can tell that, you know, Tammy Roman felt hurt. She felt betrayed and she felt like she was played like a sucker. And then also the interviewer asked Tammy, is there any way that you can work the situation out? You know, you, you know, you leaving the show. What about um, you could have got a life coach together. Evelyn could have got a life coach. You could have got a life coach. And then that's when Tammy was like, listen, did she already have a life coach? Oh, and then that's when the interviewer was like, um, yeah, with Chad. And then they, they basically got quiet and laughed. And that would have been another moment to ask about what do you think about OG and Chad working together? Um, that would have been interesting to ask too as well. <laughs> so, you know, um, and also Tammy was like, you know, when I came back to Basketball Wives, it was okay. In 2015, when I came back to Basketball Wives, it was okay. It was a great cast. It was great people. Everybody was there that I liked. You know, it was a great cast, but once... Evelyn Lozada came through. It was a problem. It was a situation. So basically, Tammy Roman enjoyed this cast. And this was a good season for her with these ladies. But once Evelyn Lozada, she called it the demon. She called it the demon season. When Evelyn Lozada returned in 2016, that's, you know, that's when everything started to change. And it went back to all this chaos. And that's when Evelyn Lozada kept trying to come after her and always wanted a problem with her. And she said she was just so sick of it. Ten years of the same shit with the same person. Like, get a life. Do something with yourself. And she was just like, you know what? She thinking about her mom, thinking about that she was raised better and she deserved better. She's going to do better. And that's why she left the show. She said she stayed too long. She wished she would have left quicker. I was like, mm, mm, mm. And she has not forgot what Evelyn Lozada did. Why is Evelyn Lozada talking about Tammy Roman's health, her issues, or talking about anything with executives? Like, why are you doing it? Are you trying to get her fired? Like, that's low down and dirty. When somebody go to your bosses and try to tell your personal medical history, for what reason? What are you going to get out of it? Because you want to get close? And so, you know, Tammy left because of Evelyn Lozada and allegedly... Evelyn Lozada is leaving because of OG. That's what she said on her Instagram. And that would have been another question where the interviewer could have asked Tammy. Since you're leaving because of most of the reason is because of Evelyn Lozada. What do you think about the Instagram post that Evelyn posted up and said that she was leaving Basketball Wives? And do you think she's leaving Basketball Wives because of OG that she is scared, baby? So I was like, mm, mm, mm. I was like, so Tammy's done. She will give reality TV a shot, but not if she's not in control. And that's just going to be it. That's just going to be what it's going to be. I was like, mm, mm, mm. And, you know, it seemed like Tammy Roman wanted to say a whole lot more. She wanted to spill a whole lot more. But Evelyn would never have the career that Tammy Roman has. Evelyn would never be as popular as Tammy Roman. Evelyn would never appear on these many shows and TV and films that Tammy Roman was on. Because you know why? She don't got charisma. She don't got character. And she don't got knowledge. And she don't got wisdom. And she's a nasty person. And she's only looking to use people. Mm -mm -mm. And yes, she, she's never she's never going to do the things that 
Tammy Roman was able to do. Never. She's never. She's she's not going to even get a shot or even get a chance. She's just going to be stuck over there doing. <laughs> she's going to be stuck over there selling shoes. That's what she's going to be doing. She's going to be over there selling shoes. And I was just like, OMG. So, you know, it must have been really been awful for Tammy Roman over there for the many years. And then at one point in time, thinking that Shoni O'Neill was her friend. Shoni O'Neill had her back, but in the whole time, Shoni O'Neill was playing her. Shoni O'Neill was making sure she edited and put the scenes where it looked like Tammy Roman was terrible, out of control, and the whole nine yards. And at this time, you know, I guarantee you Shawnee O'Neill knew each and every time that Evelyn went to the executive and talked about Tammy trying to get her fired off the show I mean that is low down and you know Shawnee knew Shawnee knew because she said she talks to Evelyn every single day you don't think Evelyn if Evelyn harassed Tammy like she harassed her on the show she was talking about her to Shawnee and they probably came up with a plan like we're gonna do this you're gonna be coming at her I'm gonna set up these scenes I'm gonna act like I don't know what's going on and the last reunion not this one but the one before last where Tammy Roman left she realized right then and there that Shawnee was not her friend because Shawnee would not co-sign anything that Tammy said but she co-signed Evelyn Lozada Mm -mm -mm. And then on top of that, Shawnee had the nerve to and to tell Tammy Roman she can come to the reunion, but with, does she mind being, you know, isolated in another stage with OG because they don't want to film with OG? And that's when Tammy hung up the phone and was like, I ain't coming through. And she was watching Black Ink Crew, baby. I was like, Lord have mercy, but I wish Tammy well and she's going to do well. And she has a, a hit TV show out now. You know, that's going to be starting pretty soon, too, as well. It's just like Tammy Roman has been blessed. She's been blessed with a good husband. She's been blessed with good kids that are not in the media. They're not out here trying to chase, you know, artists like Evelyn Lozada situation is with her oldest. And she found a husband and she found love. Tammy has been married longer than Evelyn Lozada ever will be. Evelyn Lozada had a husband for no time. And call Crawford ran. And now, she's dating someone else. But he ain't going to marry her. If he got money, he ain't. If he broke, he will. <laughs> but Tammy got her love. She got her man. Mm -mm -mm. So, kudos to Tammy. So, you guys tell me what you think about the situation. Peace. I'm out. But it was really like Tammy breaking down the situation. How awful it was working over there. It's just like going to your job. And when you get there, people are ready to set you up. Ready to get your buttons going. Ready to push you so they can film you and put it out there to the world. That you batshit crazy. Or you can't control control yourself you're emotional and then you know Tammy sitting there wondering why what's going on why are you doing this and she's like you know I'm not taking this I'm not taking this what are you doing and then you have Evelyn and you have Sean and sitting there smiling because they set everything else up to happen and also Tammy mentioned that you know they don't have a script but they are told to talk about events that has happened between the ladies whether it's a good conversation or not and it was nice that Tammy brought up OG's name, basically saying OG this, OG that. So, you guys tell me what you think about the situation. But it was really with, you know, um, Tammy breaking it down how bad it is over there. Because you have Shawnee O'Neill controlling the editing part. And she can do anything to make someone look this way. Especially with her and Evelyn getting together to make the people look like they're weak or being double teamed. Or they're crazy. Knowing that their whole goal is to destroy and hurt the people that they don't like. And Tammy Roman was one of them. And there's been many more that has been going through this. Or uh, has gone through this. But OG woke them up baby. OG came through. The the Nigerian princess came through and showed their true colors where they had to get out here in the media, on social media, and, and say, oh, I'm not this, I'm not that, I would never do this, I would never do that, oh no, I'm Afro-Latina, oh, my kids are black, my daughters are dark-skinned. Tammy and Evelyn Lozada did the most, baby.